I thank you so much for allowing me to share some ideas and some insights with you today. And thank you very much for AFSIC hosting this effort. To make sure that we can move through the information quickly, I'm gonna share my screen and a little presentation that I've put together for you. While I'm known primarily, as mentioned, as the chairman of the World Food Bank, uh, I do have the opportunity to spend a lot of time with leaders in agriculture, as well as smallhold farmers and others around uh, many, many countries in Sub-Saharan Africa. And there's nothing that I've seen that's given as much opportunity as quickly to as large a population as I've seen with media. So the goal today is to share with you some insights on how media may be a catalyst to get the things done that you are looking to get done. The media I group, like media with an E on the end, is lifting 10 million people out of poverty in the next five years. They're on scale to get that done. And with the escalation in work and effort that's being put into MEDI, we expect to lift 100 million people out of poverty, if not more, in 10 years. Let me tell you about how that's gonna get done. Now, before we get started, it's important to recognize what many of you already know, which is that the world's poorest 800 million rely on agriculture. And those 800 million, ironically, that rely on agriculture for their own subsistence, their own farming, their own food, are the same 800 million that we need to grow enough food to feed the next billion people coming to the planet. And again, there's going to be another billion on top of that in the 10 years following. So we can solve two problems at the same time. If we can lift these smallholder farmers out of poverty, they can also solve the problem of hunger. The problem that we have in addressing this issue is that it's complex. It's not complicated, but it is complex. There's 15 to 17 sub factors that are very important from seed and soil and fertilizer all the way up to markets and insurance. And if any one of those is completely inoperable, the system may fail. They don't all need to be great, but they do need to be in existence. Some of that can be helped by governments. Much of it is gonna be resolved by private industry. The, the problem can be broken down into four different areas. When we combine all of these things together and say, what are the most critical components? We find out that it's access to education, access to inputs, access to financing, and access to markets. If we can make sure that the basics of those four things are in place, we're on our way to solving the challenges of integrated agriculture. By far, by far, the most important one is access to education. So we've now found a proven solution to provide the kind of education that's needed through what we would call edutainment, educational entertainment. And this proven solution is also scalable. It's one of the most efficient ways to educate mass populations. Media Eye Group has won seven global awards from organizations including Rockefeller Foundation and the Gates Foundation and USAID. But what's more impressive is that they are on target to scale to reach over 100 million. We're all actually expecting to reach 143 million small farmers in the next five years with 51 million of those being moved out of poverty. And remember, this is not paying for them to move out of poverty. This is not subsidizing them to move out of poverty. This is giving them the education, the access to finance, the access to inputs, and the access to markets that they need so that they are sustainable and resilient on their own. 51 million people in the next five years with a very conservative estimate of more than $1.1 billion in increased revenue or GDP. At present, Media Eye reaches 12 million people every week, and they're growing by more than 2 million people per year on average. And the reason that they're successful is that they build relationships with small farmers, and that's done partly by providing trustworthy educational entertainment that's reflective of the problems that they have in their community and their farms, whether it's bananas or mango, whether it's corn or soy. We have experts going in, looking at the problems in their community and helping them solve problems in a way that's practical and effective. Now the company itself has multiple streams of income that's gonna make it more sustainable and resilient as well. 
So we know that there is a real need, 800 million people. We know that this is a proven solution because we've seen it expand from a few million to many million and now into Tanzania and Uganda, soon to be in Ethiopia and other countries. So we know that it's scalable. And we know that it's effective because studies have shown that 36% of those who watch the show adopt significant portions of what's been learned and enough that they go from the edge of poverty to the edge of middle income. And if you take just those people who go from poverty to middle income and you divide all the cost of programming and you take all the amount of time that it takes for them to move from point A to point B, it's 80 to 150 times more efficient. That means 80 to 150 times more people are pulled out of poverty for the same dollars spent. There's nothing we've ever seen that even comes close in comparison. Now there's digital revenue streams that are gonna allow Medii and this integrated approach with edutainment to really explode. There's fees that are generated from the marketing of products, trustworthy products from trusted partners that get those products into the hands of small farmers, linked to banks that may oftentimes loan some of the money to be able to purchase that improved seed or that micro irrigation system. You add on top of that commissions that come from the smallholder farmers for connecting them with input finance and the banks are de-risked because they're financing farmers that are better educated, they're buying better inputs and World Food Bank, our parent company, guarantees them offtake. This circular economy, this circular ecosystem that we put together took a long time to build, but it works. And now the data that we're gathering is extraordinarily valuable. We can tell from millions of data points, almost on a daily basis, what production is likely to happen, where the problems are going to be, who's going to harvest early, who's going to harvest late, as well as challenges with things like locusts and bacteria and things that relate to social and economic and even health related issues, because we have a relationship with these individuals. We're able to gather data that can be valuable, not just for practical purposes, but also for revenue. Archimedes said, give me a lever long enough and a fulcrum on which to place it and I shall move the world. For us, we've been looking for that fulcrum. How can we reach tens of millions, maybe hundreds of millions of people to solve the problem that we need? I'm telling you, we've now found it. It's media. And more specifically, it may be media. 36% of those viewers adopt those specific practices and they'll go from, middle, from poverty to middle income. Most of them are going to have significant increases in their production and more than a million and a half are going to move out of poverty every 18 months. The education platform is that lever. And it's substantial because it uses corporate sponsors and non-corporate sponsors. It's promoting things from organizations and agencies, as well as uh, retail clients, that, retail partners that want to come on and show the best and the latest technologies. So I'm hoping that today, if you're one of those people, if you're a strategic partner, if you're a corporate, if you're a non-corporate, but you have a message to say, a product to sell, or something that needs to get into the hands of a small hole farmer, you'll consider reaching out to us. And we have a pretty broad board that consists of local folks and leaders from people that are well known for revolutionizing the coffee industry in Uganda to folks that have led the largest media companies in the world to tribal leaders from Zambia. We have a tremendous group of people. Even our advisory board includes uh, the folks like Akon, the famous musician who's actually helping to produce additional shows and do uh, raps on other programs, and Patricia Gachinga and Sophie Rotman, who have been in the industry for seven years, who know the problems of smallhold farmers, and they know how to deliver a message so that when it's listened to on the radio, it's just as effective as seeing it on TV. And when it's seen on TV, it's remembered, and it's repeated in such a way that the absorption of that information sticks with those people. Medii is the great solution that we've come across. We hope that you'll consider this and perhaps seek to partner with us in some form or fashion. If nothing else, we'd love to help you and advise you on doing something similar. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Please feel free to reach out. My information is there and may God bless you. Take care.